delicious and nutritious. And I will be showing you how to make them. Put your oven at 400 degrees. First, I'm going to put in two bananas. You're going to have to take the peel off them. This will take a minute. So let's pause the video. Now, we're going to have to put the eggs in. I think you should roll your sleeves up because if you don't, the eggs might get on you. And it's useful if you're wearing an apron also. I've got one tiny piece of shell. If you get shell and you use the shell to take out the shell. Now we have to put in one cup of peanut butter. You might need to use a spoon to get out the peanut butter, then put it in the cup. And fill it all the way to the top. And, and then, if you don't get enough in baking, then it won't work out that well. Now we have to put in the two thirds of unsweetened cocoa powder. Mm, not enough yet. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah. Okay, I just need one more. Now, we have to put in the two scoops of chocolate protein powder. Bridget, what are you doing? This is not for you. I was talking to my dog, Georgia. <laughs> She's a Labradoodle. One day, we um, were playing with this little alien slime thing, and then all of a sudden it went to the ground and it the whole time it was under a dishwasher but we thought georgia ate it and we were like oh let's take her to the vet yeah and you and we scheduled an appointment for the vet and they were like nothing's wrong with georgia and, and then like a few months later we looked under the sink and we were like this slime was under there the whole time <laughs> now we're going to put in the honey. Cool fact, honey never expires. So like in 15 years, your honey will still be good if you still have it. Or like in a million years. And that, right now I'm putting the honey in, then I'll tell you our next step. Honey is my favorite thing to put on croissants. We don't put any sugar in these muffins, so the honey is what makes it sweet. Okay, now I'll tell you the next step. Now, we're going to add two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Don't you think it would be teaspoons? If you don't have any of these cupcake wrappers, then just spray some oil on. Okay. Okay, this is hard to open. You guys, you better do this very slowly, and I finally got it open. See what I mean? It comes out really quick. But I know you guys can do it. This is our last ingredient. You need a half a, te a, te a teaspoon baking soda. Does this even have a teaspoon? Just checking. Now we're ready to mix in the mix. Now, we're going to stir it. If you're a kid, then ask your mom or dad to help you. I'm getting help from a parent. Whoa! It's going everywhere! <laughs> this is kind of bad. <laughs> okay, let's put this in. That will save the day. If I can get it in. There we go. And now we're going to put in the chocolate chips once it's thick, once it's once it's like sticky. Okay. Now we get to mix it a little bit more. I don't want it to get everywhere. So you put it at the one or two setting. As I said, get your grown up again. Okay, 
Now we're going to add a half a cup of dark chocolate chips. It's okay if you don't have dark chocolate. You can use any kind of chocolate as long as it's not expired or anything. We're using chocolate chunks. You can use chocolate chips, but not a bar. That would just be crazy. Now I'm pouring them in. I was eating some chocolate. Now, you have to spoon the batter in and you have to do like half of it, three-fourths. Doesn't the batter look really good? I bet yours is looking good too. Now, after this, you're going to put it in the oven for eight to 12 minutes. Remember that, eight to 12. Look at these, they're about to go in the oven. Don't they look so good? I bet yours look really good. Those muffins are going to be so good. They're going to be delicious. Now I'm going to test if they're ready. Don't touch the pan. Don't touch it. It's so hot. It's ready. We just have to wait for them to cool down a bit. Let me tell you a fact while your cupcakes are cooling. Brown things take longer to cool than white things because you know how on a sunny day, like this, your black swing is hot and like when you sit your butt on it, you're like, ow, that's hot. And then you have to like cool it down with water or something. Well, brown is similar, so I thought of that. Doesn't the muffin look good? Want to see the inside? You can do my idea where you like put ice in a bag and put them over top of your muffins and like move it around after a little while. Or you could just stick them in the fridge. I thought my idea was better. And I am about to try my taste of my muffins I made. And you better get some milk or a other beverage because your mouth's going to get dry when you eat this because it has a lot of peanut butter. Mmm. That's so good. I'm almost I'm almost done with my muffin. I'm about to give my sister some. Her name is Alex. This is my sister, Alex, and she's giving a review on my muffins. Mmm, this is awesome. How many stars? Seven hundred. Whoa! That was my last piece of muffin. I still have a ton of milk left. Thanks for baking with me. Go to Leah's hut. Go to Leah's baking hut and you can search for my other videos. P.S. This is my first video, so there isn't any other videos yet. We'll, we'll tell you when there's other videos.